those out as well. Uh, before we jump into the message, I just want to uh, talk a little, a couple of things that have been in the news recently, and I've uh, been meaning to do this for a couple of weeks, and I finally had to just put it in my notes so I wouldn't forget. Uh, back in, uh, in January, uh, we actually kind of give a little prophecy update, and we talked about uh, what was happening with Turkey uh, and Turkey's key role uh, in what we refer to as the Magog invasion of Ezekiel 38. Uh, they need to be an ally with Russia, uh, and at that point in time, they had shot down a Russian, a Russian fighter jet uh, that uh, veered uh, into Turkey, uh, and, uh, and that kind of put an end to the alliance in terms of Russia, Iran, uh, and, uh, and Turkey, uh, and it's kind of been that way for some time. Uh, a few weeks ago, if you uh, watch the news in the Middle East, you know there was a, a very small but a very failed a coup attempt to uh, overthrow uh, Erdogan. Uh, the reason for that is because uh, basically he is uh, an elected president who is now the dictator. Uh, he has uh, taken over. Uh, there is no freedom of the press. Uh, it's a state-run uh, television. Uh, no one can speak out against him. If you do, you're gone. Uh, you're either imprisoned out of the country or, or you're, uh, you're executed, and it's done in such a way as that other people get the message. Very similar to what Putin has done in Russia uh, now. Um, he really is the, the dictator there, controls everything, uh, and, um, and does fit the bill of, the again, the Gog of Magog in terms of the uh, evasion and what uh, uh, Ezekiel has to say about that. Uh, and now Erdogan, because of this failed attempt, people trying to rebel against his oppression, he has used that as an excuse to pretty much clean house. Uh, he has, um, uh, according to uh, a human rights watch group, he's uh, uh, executed uh, a couple of hundred people. Uh, he has dismissed uh, people in the thousands in terms of uh, everything from the media to the education, uh, and especially in terms of the military uh, and their ju limited judicial uh, system. So he has completely taken over the country. He has declared a three-month state of emergency, suspending the European Convention on Human Rights, which means I'll do anything I want to do for the next three months until I am in absolute control of this country. Because of that now, in his strength and position, he's gone back into negotiations with Putin. Uh, and uh, this is a guy that uh, controls the second largest, uh, I'm pretty sure it's the second largest military uh, in the, of NATO. He's part, part of NATO, but uh, uh, kind of uh, moving away from that position, becoming much more of a, an Islamic uh, country there in Turkey. And of course, lots of persecution against Christians. A uh, hundred years ago, 22% of the population in Turkey was Christian. And right now, it's, um, it is 0.02% of the country. Most of the Christians have had to uh, flee. Uh, the few that are left are be currently being uh, persecuted uh, uh, because of uh, the change of uh, Erdogan and his position uh, and uh, embracing of this idea of, uh, as an Islamic state, uh, trying to recapture the old Ottoman Empire. So interesting. So, so he's, he's a player, and certainly Putin is, and they're in negotiations now. Uh, if they're able to join forces once again, then the, all the chess pieces would be in place uh, for the, uh, uh, the Magog invasion. So anyway, that's uh, all going on and, uh, and of, uh, yeah, should be of interest to people that uh, follow, uh, follow prophecy. Uh, the other thing is just to make you aware of something that uh, is only tied slightly in the Middle East, but just in case you, uh, you, you don't know. And I think I have another slide to, uh, to go with this one. It's a cute, cute little gal or, that uh, uh, is uh, on the opening page of, uh, are we there? Isn't she sweet? Well, this is the uh, opening uh, homepage for an organization called World Vision. Uh, World Vision is a so-called Christian organization that's been around for a number of years who uh, you donate money to believing, believing it's going to go to help uh, children in impoverished areas uh, around the country. Uh, we, we've watched them move away uh, from a biblical-based organization over the last 10 years or so and become very, very anti-Israel, therefore anti-Semitic uh, in some of the uh, uh, positions they've taken and so forth against Israel and be very pro-Palestinian uh, and, uh, and so forth. Uh, and now uh, Israel, the, the uh, uh, government of Israel, through their uh, equivalent to their CIA, which traces 
uh, money coming into terrorist organization, in this case Hamas, which is in the Gaza Strip, and they followed that money to see where is it coming from, and they followed it right back to World Vision. World Vision's been funneling millions of dollars into uh, Hamas uh, in, the, in the Gaza Strip. So they can run their summer camps for kids. You might have sent your kids to vacation Bible school. <coughs> they do that over there, except they teach them how to make bombs. Uh, they teach them uh, military combat. They teach them how to sneak through tunnels. They teach them how to slit people's throats. And, of, of course, we're talking about uh, uh, the Jewish people in Israel. It's unbelievable what they teach their kids over the summer in their summer programs funded by World Vision. I would encourage you to not give a dime to World Vision. <laughs> I don't know if anyone here does. Uh, we support Compassion International that does have a legit ministry to, uh, uh, to kids around, uh, around the world and so forth. It's a good organization. It's not that there aren't some good ones out there. There are, but when there's some really bad ones, I just feel an obligation to, uh, to point that out to you. Anyway, a couple of things that are in the news. All right, well, if you want to turn your Bibles to 1 Corinthians, we're in chapter 12 and still in our... Our uh, section here on, uh, on spiritual gifts that uh, uh, we began a, a few weeks ago.